All right, so I wanna explain a few other things about um, processes that go on while you're on the market and while we're helping sell your home. One is open houses. They can definitely help get more eyeballs in your home. The more people that we get to see your home when it's first listed, the higher probability that someone will write an offer and write a strong offer. So we wanna do as much as we can to get people in. Open houses, even in COVID and post pandemic era, um, are still a functional tool to help people get in your home. We're gonna make sure that anyone that comes in your home is wearing a mask, applies hand sanitizer, wears gloves, and is instructed not to look all up in your stuff, okay? Humans are still humans, and they don't always listen to us, but we make sure we've got different and multiple layers or where we tell them what is expected. During the open house time, which is generally a two hour window on the weekends, in the afternoon, we're gonna make sure it's confirmed in advance. We're marketing it on our networks and on the multiple listing service. And we've got some directional signs out front that can help people that are just driving by or walking by wanna come and check it. Another tool that we use during our open houses is something called contact tracing. So we're gonna make sure that anyone that comes in your home submits to at least their name, phone number, and email so that we can know who was physically there. That's important, not just for COVID purposes, but because it's your home. We take it really personal and serious that you're opening up your home to the public and it is our responsibility to ensure that nothing bad happens when we're in control of it. So open houses are important. We're gonna need your help to make sure the home looks just as good as it did in the pictures. And that if you have pills, weapons, guns, anything else that's sensitive, that those are secured in a way that there's no possible way that anyone in the open house could come across them or see them during the open house. But it's our job also to make sure they're not looking through your stuff in the same way. An important part of selling your home is allowing the buyer to take psychological possession. The best way for them to do that is for them to be able to see it on their time, without any distractions, or without anything that might make them feel weird or guilty or uncomfortable while in the space. A lot of times, that means they need to see it with just their agent and themselves. So when we have showings that are scheduled and planned, and when we have open houses, we're gonna ask you to not be in the home during that time. You're gonna need to vacate, ideally 10 to 15 minutes before that showing window is supposed to start, and give them about another 10 to 15 minutes after that showing window or open house is supposed to end, just in case people are straggling. It's really important that they get to see the home, see it comfortably, and that there's nothing that emotionally gets in the way of them falling in love, liking it, and wanting to write an offer. If you got any questions about this or how it works, don't hesitate to reach out to me or anyone on the team to explain the home selling process. And we can't wait to sell your home.